Have you ever felt an inexplicable chill run down your spine or suddenly felt the hair on your arm stand on end with no logical reason? Have you seen shadows move in the corners of your eyes or found objects in your home mysteriously moved from their usual place? What if we told you that these experiences could be more than just coincidences or tricks of the mind? Sign 1. Unexplained Phenomena In the quiet recesses of our day-to-day -day life, the mundane often masks the extraordinary. Unexplained phenomena are one such aspect that many of us encounter, yet dismiss, attributing these happenings to mere glitches in reality. But what if these glitches are in fact deliberate signals, whispers from beyond our earthly plane? Imagine sitting in your living room, lost in thought or engrossed in a book. Suddenly you notice the lights in the room flickering, despite there being no electrical issues or stormy weather outside. Or perhaps you're in your office and the computer screen starts behaving erratically, showing images or playing songs without you even touching it. Unusual, wouldn't you say? Often individuals report electronic devices switching on or off by themselves, radio stations changing without being prompted, or phones ringing with no caller ID. In a world so heavily reliant on technology, could it be possible that our loved ones in the afterlife have adapted and now use these channels to communicate? Even more puzzling, perhaps, are instances where physical objects move or disappear, only to reappear in the most unlikely places. Your grandmother's brooch that you know you left safely in your drawer, now sitting on your bedside table. A book that you've been searching for, suddenly found opened to a significant passage. It's easy to write off these events as happenstance or tricks played by our memory. But what if there is more to these incidents? Sign 2. Dreams and Visions can you recall a time when you've drifted off to sleep only to find yourself in an extraordinarily vivid dream, a loved one who has passed standing before you as real as they were in life? Perhaps they shared a message with you, offered advice, or merely reassured you with their comforting presence. Many of us wake from such dreams with the distinct feeling that this was no ordinary reverie. It was a visitation. Dreams have long been considered a conduit for messages from the subconscious, a gateway to our deepest fears, desires, and memories. But what if these dreams also serve as a bridge between our world and the next? Could our loved ones use this platform to communicate, knowing we are most receptive and unguarded in our sleep? Then there are visions. These can occur when we are fully awake, often when our minds are relaxed or when we are in a meditative state. You might be gazing out of your window when suddenly you perceive a familiar figure standing in your garden, only to vanish as you blink. Or perhaps you notice an apparition in the mirror, watching you with a gentle smile. Some even hear their name being called softly in a voice that they could never forget. Whether in the tranquility of sleep or the calm of waking moments, these dreams and visions could potentially be channels for those in the afterlife to make contact. They may seek to provide comfort, convey messages, or simply remind us that their spirit endures. By embracing these experiences, we allow ourselves to consider a reality where life and death are but two sides of the same coin, a cycle of existence that is far grander than we can perceive. Sign 3. Sensing Presence In the fleeting moments of solitude, have you ever felt as though you weren't entirely alone? A strange sensation that someone unseen is there with you, Perhaps it's a sudden change in the atmosphere of a room, a temperature shift that sends a shiver down your spine, or simply an inexplicable feeling of being observed. This sense of presence is another sign we explore in our journey through potential contacts from the afterlife. Often this sensation is one of familiarity and comfort. You might be in your childhood home and you could swear you feel your late grandmother's presence in the kitchen, just as it used to be when she baked your favorite cookies. Or you could be sitting in your study and suddenly you sent your old friend, the one with whom you shared countless evenings discussing books and philosophies. This feeling extends beyond mere emotion or nostalgia. It is visceral, as though the essence of these loved ones continues to reside in their favorite spaces or around the people they cherished. It's as if, through sheer force of love or longing, they can breach the barriers between their realm and ours. Though easily dismissed as a trick of the mind or an echo of grief, this sense of presence can be intensely real for those who experience it. Can it be that our loved ones in the afterlife are reaching out, their energy mingling with ours, reminding us of their continuing love and watchfulness? If we pay attention to these sensations and invite them with an open heart, we might discover connections that defy our understanding of life, death, and the spaces that lie in between. Sign 4. Symbolic Messages 
Imagine strolling in a park and noticing an unusual number of butterflies circling you, fluttering around as if insisting on your attention. Or perhaps you consistently find feathers on your path, their colors and positions too significant to ignore. Maybe a certain song plays every time you switch on the radio, its lyrics echoing a private joke or a shared memory with a departed loved one. For some, it might be a particular sequence of numbers that keep reappearing in phone numbers, page numbers, or even the digital clock at your bedside, always showing 1111 as you glance at it. These could be the favorite numbers of someone you've lost, or numbers that you associate with them for a special reason. While skeptics might dismiss such incidents as confirmation bias or coincidence, those who experience them often find a deeper resonance, a feeling that these symbols are signs deliberately sent from the afterlife. They are seen as attempts from those who have passed to let us know that they are still with us, guiding us, reminding us of their enduring love and presence. Could our loved ones be reaching out to us through these symbols? In a language that is deeply personal, weaving a connection that transcends the physical plane? As we learn to recognize and understand these symbolic messages, we open ourselves to a dialogue with the afterlife that is intimate, comforting, and incredibly profound. Sign 5. Physical Sensations Imagine feeling a touch when no one is around, hearing a familiar voice calling your name when you're alone, or experiencing a distinct smell associated with a departed loved one. You might be sitting alone, lost in thought, when you suddenly feel a comforting hand on your shoulder. You turn around, but there's no one there. Or perhaps out of the blue, you sense a gentle caress on your hair, just the way your mother used to when she comforted you. And then there are voices, your name being whispered in a way that sends a jolt of recognition through you. You may hear laughter that echoes with warmth and love, or comforting words spoken in a voice that you've missed for so long. Sometimes the experience might even be more tangible. You may walk into a room and catch the scent of a particular perfume or cologne that a departed loved one used to wear. It might be the distinct aroma of a specific dish they used to cook, or the smell of their favorite flowers that suddenly fills a room. These physical sensations can often be so vivid, so poignant, that they defy any rational explanation. They have the potential to bring comfort, to reaffirm bonds that death cannot sever, and to remind us that our loved ones may still be reaching out, bridging the gap between their realm and ours. As we ponder these fascinating phenomena, we are led to wonder, is death the end of existence or merely a transformation, a transition into another state of being? And if it's the latter, then these signs may well be our loved ones assuring us that they are okay, that they are still with us, and that love endures beyond the physical world. In this delicate dance between the known and the unknown, we've glimpsed the potential for communication, connection, and even guidance from those who have crossed over. We've touched upon the subtle ways in which they may try to make their presence felt, seeking to comfort, guide, and remind us that love transcends the boundaries of life and death. But the journey doesn't end here. We invite you to continue exploring this fascinating realm of the afterlife and to share your own experiences. Do you have a story to tell? Have you encountered signs that you believe are messages from someone on the other side? We would love to hear from you. So, before we bid farewell, we kindly ask you to support our channel. Subscribe to stay connected with our captivating content. Like this video if it resonated with you. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Share your thoughts, stories, and insights, as it is through your engagement that we can continue to unravel the mysteries that lie beyond.